fire rap. If you think we film, with your hands and clap. Cause you know we rap about this and that. Hot uh, now some time. Boom, snap, clap. Students, make sure you practice the, the big, big three. three. Social distance. Sanitize. And mask over, over your nose. nose. Seniors, Ms. Klein and Ms. Cove need your baby and senior pictures for your yearbook and graduation procession. Please bring them in as soon as possible and give them to either Ms. Klein or Ms. Cove. The tech squad played Look It at the most recent meeting. The winners of round one were Evan Schmetzer, Ashley Phillips, and Marissa Crow. The round two winners were MC, Scooter Spencer, and Shark B. The next tech squad meetings will be this Friday at 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Any girls in grades 8th through 11th grade interested in cheering for the 2021-2022 football and basketball season? Tryouts will be held on Thursday, April 29th at 6 p.m. Please go to the Senior High Office to sign up and get additional information. Now for your, your sports, sports report. report. Friday, the boys' baseball, baseball team, team plays away at Fort Cherry at 3.45, the bus leaves at 2 o'clock. Anybody interested in playing football, football for the upcoming season should attend after school weightlifting from 3 to 5 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Also, anybody interested in playing high school boys' basketball, please report to the gym at 5.30 every Tuesday after weightlifting. weightlifting. Don't forget to wish all of our athletes good luck. Good luck, athletes. At this time, we do not know if spectators will be allowed to attend. But we will keep you posted. April is Arab American Heritage Month, and we would like to take a moment to recognize Arab Americans who have made an impact on our world today. Roll, Roll it! I'm not going to change who I am. I'm only going to change to be greater. Goldfleet was an American history teacher of Lebanese descent. She was also the great niece of historian Philip K. Hitty. She taught history and English in Concord, New Hampshire in 1981. Krista applied for the Teacher in Space Project and won the contest. She had to leave her family for training, only returning for holidays up until the launch. The launch of the shuttle was postponed for six days until it was launched on January 28, 1986. Krista would have been would have been the first American civilian to go into space. She was a passenger of the Challenger Space Shuttle, which tragically exploded shortly after liftoff. She was given the Congressional Space Medal of Honor after death. This is also a planetarium in Concord after her, named after her. And that's all we have for today, Cornell. We'll, we'll see, see you in the halls. Six feet apart. <laughs>